today. I will discuss one subject called Padiga Radha Sudha. <coughs> Padiga Radha Sudha of Ubri Panasa. What is the meaning of Padiga Radha Sudha? One who has a single easily night. We want to have a single easily night. We want? <laughs> okay, we will discuss about this. <laughs> Maybe Buddha was, at that time Buddha was really in Jeta when we were at Saudi. He said this command. Hmm? There are many misunderstandings about this command. So because of this reason, I want to explain it, especially to students. Adida nanagamiya nabadi dinkhe anagada. Yada adida bahi nanda abadansa anagada. This is funny. Adida hmm? nanagamiya. One should not uh, sorry, sorry, I mean we had what go? Mm. One should not one should not follow after <coughs> after the past. Why? The past had been left behind. One should not. One should not make uh, hopes up on the future. Hmm? One should not create hopes up on the future because future is future had not yet reached. So this is the meaning of this sentence. One should not follow Abda <coughs> the past. So they translate, one should not contemplate the past. Not true. What is the meaning? Adida nanagamaya tana dehi nanu kachiya. You should not follow Abda the past with craving in wrong view. What is the meaning? So Buddha explained the meaning of this sentence. How does a bhikkhu does not follow the abda, follow abda the past? He had delay. He had delay. He had delayed there, thinking, I had such a such material for in the past, such feeling. I had such feeling in the past. I had such perception in the past. <coughs> I had such part, such formations in the past. I had such consciousness in the past. In this way, if we have delay or craving in wrong view, then this is called he is following after the past. So if you have attachment or craving to the past by aggregates, then you have attachment if you and you you are following after the past. We can say you are following after the past. Past aggregates. So <coughs> past aggregates are <coughs> already left behind. Already passed away. Hmm? So you should not have delight in the past aggregates. You shouldn't have craving for the past aggregates. 
not to have craving, not to have delight. In the first Grigas, how you should try. I want to explain like that. Hmm? In the same way, <coughs> how you sh hmm? how you expect future hopes for the future aggregates? Hmm? How you expect hopes hmm? for the future aggregates? One have delight in the future aggregates. Thinking, may I have such material form in the future? May I have such feeling in the future? May I ha have such, uh, such perception in the future? May I have such formations in the future? May I have such consciousness in the future? In this way, if you have expanding for what delight for the future aggregates, then this is we can say you are expanding for future. You have a lot of hopes for future aggregates. So if you have delight for future existence, that delight is another word, craving or attachment would wrong view. How craving eh, wrong view rise? If you perceive hmm, future aggregates as I hmm, or as my, then this is this is craving eh, wrong view. <coughs> if you have attachment for future aggregates, uh, I will be may I be such and such person in the future existence. May I be a woman, such and such woman. May I be a beku, may I be a bekuni. Hmm? In this way, if you have expectations or attachment to future aggregates, then we can say do you are expecting for future. So you should not expect for future. Not to expect for future, how you should contemplate. I will explain later. Huh? Another stanza there is Picho Bane Cha Yodaman Tata Tata Vipasati Asan Hira Asan Koban Tan Vida Manu Bihaye Picho Bane Cha Yodaman Present Pai Grigas hmm? Present Pai Grigas There are Present Pai Grigas These Pai Grigas you must contemplate Nature, Toka, and eh? Ananda, etc. Where? Everywhere. Or every mind moment, every material moment. Eh? Why you are contemplating these five aggregates as Nature, Toka, Ananda, etc.? You should try to see according to their own situation. What is situation? <coughs> I had already explained. Hmm? Materiality rise as a club. In each club, if you analyze at least there are eight types of materiality, art element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, order, flavor, nutrient, depth, essence, etc. So materiality rise as a group. This is called Dhamma Pongcha. Dhamma Pongcha means the Dhammas arise not single, as a group only. In the same way, mentality also arise as a group, <coughs> not single, not one by one. Moment by moment, mentalities may be rise, but in each mind moment, at least there must be eight days of mental patterns. In some cases, such as Pajana Dhamma, there are 34 mental factors. When you are contemplating this Nama Dhamma, you should try to see this ultimate mentalities as a group. You should not contemplate there only one. Because if there are eight mental factors, you should try this eight mental factors as Nichatoka Nanda. 
If there are any women that are fantastic in each my moment, then you should contemplate them as an each other another altogether. But you can separately one by one also you can contemplate, but you must try up to the different mental factors, hmm? or eight factors, etc. So, <coughs> when you are contemplating in this way, that contemplation is called inside knowledge, we personal. Again, you must also contemplate that we personal inside as nature to another. So, here are five aggregates. These five aggregates you must contemplate as nature to another. This is one type of inside knowledge. That inside knowledge, again, you must contemplate as nature to another. This is called Pati Vipassana. <coughs> what is the meaning? The meaning means here, there are five aggregates, material, the aggregate of materiality, the aggregate of feeling, perception, formations, and consciousness. One by one you can contemplate. For example, if you contemplate materiality aggregate as nature, then that nature inside knowledge also you must contemplate again as nature or dogma and nada, etc. In this way, you must do both. Why? Sometimes some meditators, when they are contemplating as nature or dogma or nada, sometimes their inside become very sharp. They can contemplate very easily whether this is past or present or future, hmm? internal or external, no problem, they can easily contemplate. They are which at the time is very sharp, they are inside at the time very sharp, deep, profound. So at the time they have a lot of attachment, they are inside. Ah, oh, today very good, I can contemplate, oh, very good. Today concentration, very good, I can concentrate, well, ah, oh, today not good, today not good. <laughs> so, if the, today is very good, they have attachment to that knowledge, huh? or to that concentration, or to that insight. So that, to remove that attachment, you must also contemplate that insight as a nature, or dukkha, or another. If you contemplate as a nature, that nature inside knowledge can just try <coughs> temporarily, hmm? can just try the perception of I. This is conceit. I, I, in this way, yeah? you do <laughs> like that. This conceit, this nature knowledge can remove. Why? Every mentality, every mentality, Every aggregate, hmm? internal or external, when he, he is contemplated as nature, as soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. So they, he contemplates as, then as nature. When he is contemplated as nature, as soon as they rise, they pass away quickly. He cannot see any eye. Can you see? No, cannot see eye at that time. So perception of eye disappears. Because of that in nature inside knowledge, nature new persona. In the same way, these formations, eh, these five aggregates, as well as inside knowledge, eh, if you contemplate them as dukkha, why? They are always oppressed by rising and passing away, so they are dukkha. If you contemplate them as dukkha, then that dukkha. Inside knowledge can destroy temporarily the perception of mind. Oh, this is my ruba, this is my feeling, this is my perception, this is my information, this is my consciousness. This perception disappears. Why? You cannot see there is mind. Hmm? As soon as they arise, they are passed away and they are always oppressed by arising and passing away. So because of this reason, you cannot see mind. Hmm? So if there is no I, there will be no mind. Hmm? Because all are impermanent. In the same way, if you contemplate these five aggregates as well as inside knowledge as another, no self, then you cannot see self. Because in these five aggregates as well as in this inside knowledge, you cannot see any 
per minute such that as soon as they rest, they are always passing away. There is no per minute entity. So because of this reason, you cannot see self adapt. Hmm? So another nubhasana can remove perception of other. A nature nubhasana can remove perception of I conceit. Hmm? Dukha nubhasana can remove the perception of mind. This is craving. Hmm? This is my property. This is my property. This is my property. In this way you accumulate. Because you have attachment. So this attachment will disappear. Dukha nubhasana can remove craving. Another nubhasana can remove other perception. Dukha nubhasana can remove uh, perception of mind craving. Eh? The nature nubhasana can remove conceit. Hmm? So, because of this reason, if you contemplate five aggregates as well as inside knowledge as nature, dukha, another, then craving in wrong view will disappear. Craving in wrong view will disappear. And the, this is the present. So, asan hira, asan kobat. Craving in wrong view cannot overcome this inside knowledge as well as this fact previous. Hmm? If you contemplate there as nature dukkha nada, you can overcome the craving in wrong view on these five aggregates as well as on this inside knowledge. This is... If, if you want to remove this distraint, craving in wrong view, how you must try? You must contemplate these five aggregates as well as inside knowledge as a nature, dukkha, and another. Do you understand? In the same way, there are five past aggregates. <laughs> Buddha teach not to follow after past aggregates by craving and dating. This meaning is to be there on past aggregates, you should not have craving and wrong view. You must remove craving and wrong view. How you should do? You must contemplate past aggregates also as a nature, dukkha, and another. If you contemplate past aggregates, as nature dukkha another, this craving in wrong view cannot arise, depending on first aggregates. In the same way, there are future five aggregates. You have many expectations, hopes hmm, of future five aggregates. These are the craving in wrong view. If you want to destroy this craving in wrong view, how you should try? You must contemplate future aggregates also as a nature, dukkha, and another. If you contemplate these future aggregates as a nature, dukkha, and another, then perception of uh, the craving in wrong view will be disappear. So, past aggregate, present aggregate, future aggregate. There are three. <coughs> three types. <coughs> So whether this is past aggregate or present aggregate or future aggregate, if you contemplate them as nature, dukkha, nada, the craving and wrong view will disappear. This is same minute only, but now it is many, uh, many, many <coughs> Mahathiras, they translate this sentence as Didananagamaya, you must not follow after the past aggregates. Then they translate, you should, you must not contemplate past aggregates, and this way they translate. And then you must also, you should not expect for future existence or for future aggregates. They translate this also, you should not contemplate future aggregates. Then in Brazil also, Buddha says, depending on Brazil five aggregates, you should not have craving in wrong view. How you should do? You must not contemplate them. <laughs> if you want to remove craving and wrong view depending on present aggregates, then you must pre pre you must contemplate present five aggregates as an each to another. In the same way, if you want to remove craving and wrong view depending on past aggregates, 
then you must contemplate past aggregates as an exact to another. In the same way, if you want to remove craving and wrong view, depending on future aggregates, then you should also contemplate future aggregates as an exact to another. This is a very clear meaning. So, if they translate, you must not contemplate past, you must not contemplate future, then the very origination will be meaningless. Because past causes produce present effect. Present causes will produce future effect. Then you will not understand the noble truth of the origin of Toka, Smuria, etc. How you can understand? So, the object of this insight knowledge is number one, the noble truth of suffering, Toka, etc. Number two, the noble truth of the origin of suffering, Smuria, etc. These two types of sitya dhammas are the object of vipassana. These two types of dhammas are called formations sankhara. These sankharas are the object of vipassana. You must contemplate these sankharas as nature, dhoka, and anatta. Because in the beginning of my dhamma I had been explained one type of soda, one soda, aswakya soda, the destruction of things. Hmm? The destruction of things comes about for one who knows and sees. So that the destruction of things is means for one means who knows and sees means what for what knows and sees. For one who knows and sees, this is the noble truth of suffering. For one who knows and sees, this is the noble truth of the origin of suffering. For one who knows and sees, this is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. For one who knows and sees, this is the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of suffering. Then the, 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 the destruction of the days comes about. So, the destruction of the taste means to attain hardship only. Arhapa improves in knowledge which realizes Nibbana. Then that's trying the taste completely without remainder. So, if they do not understand or do not know and see the noble truth of the suffering as well as the noble truth of the origin of suffering, they cannot be a arha. They cannot can destroy the days of the phenomena. The destruction of the days of the phenomena is for one who knows and sees these four noble truths only. If they do not understand these four noble truths, they cannot be a sodabana, they cannot be a sagadagami, they cannot be a nagami, they cannot be a arha. If they cannot become arha, they cannot destroy these developments. So, to become noble ones, they must understand with direct knowledge these four noble truths. Among four noble truths, past aggregate, past aggregate also include, present past aggregate also include, future past aggregates also include, internal past aggregates, external past aggregates also include, all are included. In the same way, among past five aggregates, past causes are also included. Include means past causes arise depending on past five aggregates only. In the present, now here, five aggregates. Depending on these five aggregates, present five aggregates, you accumulate five causes. Ouija, ignorance, tana, craving, ubadana, clinging, eh? Sankara formations and eh? karmic force, karma. These five causes arise depending on present. Present five causes arise depending on present five aggregates. In the same way, past five causes also arise depending on past five aggregates only. No present five aggregates. Hmm? In the same way, 
future causes or future five causes also will arise to be among future five aggregates only. Without understanding <coughs> or without discerning past aggregates, past five aggregates, you cannot understand five past causes with your direct knowledge. In the same way, without discerning future five aggregates, you cannot understand future five causes with your direct knowledge because you can you cannot discern. So without discerning past causes and past aggregates, one cannot understand the noble truth of the origin of suffering. Without understanding the noble truth of the origin of suffering, one cannot realize nibbana. So for realization of nibbana, <coughs> you must try number one to understand with your direct knowledge the noble truth of the suffering. This is by clinging aggregates. So then number two, you should try to understand with your direct knowledge the noble truth of the origin of suffering. This is dependent origination. So these two noble truths are the object of the personal insight. If you can contemplate them as nature to that systematically, one day when your insight becomes mature, your part in process knowledge will realize nirvana stage by stage. Last part in process knowledge is called arham part in process knowledge. That arham part knowledge will destroy the phenomenon completely without remainder. At the time, the destruction of things will appear. <coughs> so, in this particular Radha Sutta, one is a single excellent neck Sutta. Hmm? Buddha never said not to contemplate past aggregates and future aggregates. Buddha says you must not follow after to be follow after with craving and Round you, past aggregates. You must not expect future aggregates with craving in round view. You must try not to arise craving in round view depending on present aggregates. Only this way about that thought. So because of this reason, depending on past aggregates or present aggregates or future aggregates, if there is craving in round view, then you must contemplate these past aggregates, present aggregates, future aggregates as nature to Kananda to remove this craving and wrong view only. This is one. So if you can contemplate these past five aggregates, present five aggregates, future five aggregates, and then five aggregates, is then five aggregates as nature to Kananda. Again, you must also contemplate that nature inside knowledge as a nature to Kananda again. Because depending on this nature, on this inside knowledge, sometimes you may have craving in wrong view. Because of this reason, not to rise depending on inside knowledge, craving in wrong view, we must co you must contemplate this inside knowledge also as a nature to Kananda. What is inside knowledge? According to Buddha's teaching, inside knowledge rests as a cognitive process. Mind or cognitive process. Number one is mind or abiding consciousness. There are twelve mental factors. Hmm? <coughs> Seven impulsions join us. In each jivana, there are thirty-four mental factors, usually. Hmm? I had been calculated that before, huh? this thirty-four. So, this among this study for insight knowledge is also present. That insight knowledge is predominant factor when you are contemplating these formations as nature to Kananda. So predominant factor is insight knowledge, but that insight knowledge cannot rise alone. Single. It rises always with associated mental formations. All together these mental formations you must contemplate them as nature to Kananda. This inside knowledge. So this inside knowledge, together with associated mental formations, you must contemplate as nature, dukkha, and ananda. If you contemplate, then 
Thus, inside knowledge cannot be destroyed or cannot be overcome by craving and craving. This is one meaning. Another meaning is Nirvana. <laughs> Another meaning is Nirvana. While they are contemplating nature to another in this way, one day they may, they are inside bigger mature. When they are inside bigger mature, at the end of inside knowledge, part and fruition knowledge will arise. Part and fruition knowledge which realize Nirvana will arise. Eh? That part knowledge and fruition knowledge realize Nirvana. After realizing Nirvana again, you must try to attain fruition knowledge again and again. Fruition attainment. Fruition attainment again and again. Fruition attainment means after part knowledge, fruition knowledge appear. That fruition knowledge can realize Nirvana. In that Nirvana, there is no mentality, no materiality. This is object. Hmm? But here, but in fruition knowledge, which take Nirvana as object, here, but knowledge, there are that, usually 37 medal from Pedas. Fruition knowledge also says there are 37 medal of Pedas. This 37 medal of Pedas means when you are contemplating Fajr Nadamas, for example, huh? as Elisha Joka Nada, other than if you realize Nirvana, then your part in fruition knowledge is associated with 37 Madhala Fadas. 34 flat plus Sama Vacha, Sama Gamada, Sama Ajiva, huh? three. Right speech, right action, and right livelihood. 34 in these three together, all mm -hmm. together there are 37 Madhala Fadas. So, <coughs> in this case, Asa Hira, Asa Gopan, Dawida, we love you here. That Prussian Ademit, you must again, again try. Again, again try that Prussian Ademit. Because in the Nibbana, the object of Prussian Ademit is Nibbana. In that Nibbana, there is no mentality, no materiality. Because of this reason, there is also no craving, no wrong view. Because <coughs> craving and wrong view is one type of, two type of mentality. Hmm? So, if there is completely no mentality, mentality, then craving and wrong view cannot be present in Nirvana. So, if you do in this way again, again, then that crucial knowledge, hmm? craving and Clinging cannot overcome this Prussian knowledge or this Nibbana. So, not to overcome by craving and clinging, you must try again and again that Prussian Ademia. This is another meaning. So, in that Sogda, Buddha explains only to contemplate past, present, and future aggregates. As nature took another, not to rise, craving and clinging only. Buddha never say two different words, two different teachings. You may understand. Second Samu, another Lakhana Sutta. Five bhikkhus, hmm? five group of bhikkhus, Pichawagi bhikkhus. They contemplate these five, eleven types of five aggregates, past, present, future, internet, iskane, cross, and central, imperial, and superior, power, and near. <coughs> these eleven types of five aggregates, they contemplate as nature, dhoka, and nada. Again, again. After that, they may also dampen One day, they are inside become mature, and then they both teach another lakana soda. When he is teaching another lakana soda, Nearly at the end, he asked them questions. Whether this materiality is nature or nature. They give, they reply, when the rivers are a nature. So here, Buddha says, material aggregate in the same way, feeling, perception, formations, and consciousness, five aggregates. Hmm? These five aggregates are nature or nature. They reply as a nature. You should try and do see. Buddha never tell lies. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
In the same way, these five aggregate, these, these five group of vehicles also will never tell lies. Because <coughs> at the end of this summer, they will realize or they will become arahas. So because of this reason, at the time, they see these five aggregates. This is, they also see these five aggregates in nature. They also understand by their direct knowledge at the time. Because they already attain Sotabana stage. If they begin Sotabana, <coughs> They already understand the no virtue of suffering. This is five aggregates. Mm. So because of this reason, <coughs> Buddha, when Buddha asks, they reply nature. Whether these five aggregates are nature or nature, they reply as nature. Then, if it is nature, this is dukkha or sukha. When uh, I this is dukkha. If it is nature, dukkha, then this is also always changing. Always changing means from Obada stage to Pinga, from rising stage to dissolution stage. Always changing. Then you can say this is my other, no, 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 sir. And this will be reply. <coughs> After this question, as Buddha gave the instruction how to contemplate Vipassana. That sama diha bhikkhuwe yangi chi rupa di da nagata bhikshubana ija dhamma bhikdhamma olari gama sukumawa hinama bani dhamma yandure sandi gewa sabha rupa ni dhamma ma ni soha ma sami na me so adhani iwa me danya dhabuddha sama binyaya dhadabha. And this is the Buddha inside. Yangi chi rupa di da nagata bhikshubana di da pas nagata shucha bhikshubana present. This is five aggregates or uh, same, hmm? productive instruction. So, first five aggregates, present five aggregates, future five aggregates, internal five aggregates, external five aggregates, gross five aggregates, sudden five aggregates, inferior five aggregates, superior five aggregates, pa five aggregates, near five aggregates. For well, 11 types of five aggregates, you should contemplate them as nature to another. This is not mine, this is not I, this is not myself. This is same, and it's a Dukkha Ananda. So, in that so that Buddha openly explained to contemplate past five aggregates as Nichat Dukkha Ananda, future five aggregates as Nichat Dukkha Ananda, present five aggregates as Nichat Dukkha Ananda. So, in that so that Buddha explained openly. Such a Buddha, why in that Bandhigaranda so that one who has a single excellent night, how oh, Buddha can teach? You must not contemplate past five aggregates. You must not contemplate future five aggregates. Buddha never tell two different words. So you should understand this well. Mm -hmm. But another <coughs> problem I want to explain here. Uh, maybe four or five days ago I explained about Buenga. Mm -hmm. But I forget. Another type of point that I do not explain. This is there are many misunderstandings. <coughs> While they are practicing samatha or vipassana, when their concentration is not yet mature, especially in excess concentration stage, boinga rise, mind state rise. <coughs> For beginners, when this boinga mind state rise, huh? on that day I had explained. It's shock, fear, fear, fear arise. Hmm? But another type of problem also there. In the same way, when they are contemplating Vipassana, at that time also, when they reach Sikharubhaka Jnana stage, hmm? the knowledge of equanimity towards formations, at that time also, they have a, lo a lot of equanimous mind to every formation. They don't care anything. They have no attachment, they have no longing, no expectation. All equanimous men, and then they also, if they cannot maintain their concentration, they can easily fall down when mm -hmm. So at that time, this is also another problem. <coughs> but I want to explain here, when they fall into Buenga, some meditators, they think, this may be cessation state or nirvana. Hmm? Why? 
And then, then they feel some meditators feel, especially some other meditators, because they do not understand argument, mentality, mentality, and their causes. So at that time, they understand this mind state. If the, this mind state arises successfully for a long time, they think, oh, they, they know nothing at that time. They feel like that. They know nothing means this mind state do not take present object, for example, like Anabana Bribhaga Nimita. That mind state do not take this present object. But that mind state take only past object. Past object means past, in past, past, like, past, past, like, in the end of death. One Nimeda, one side. Hmm? Kama, or Kama Nimeda, or Gri Nimeda. Kama means wholesome Kama. Kama Nimeda means the sign of Kama. Gri Nimeda means destination, sign of destination. This, one of these three objects usually appear. That Moenga may say take that object. But that Moenga may say take that object, who understand? When they descend to the origination of the past past life, at the time only they understand clearly. This Moenga may say realize past object only. But Especially when they cannot analyze ultimate mentality and materiality, or when they cannot discern ultimate mentality and materiality, they do not understand that point of mastery. How many mental factors are there? They do not understand. Because they do not yet discern ultimate mentality and materiality. This is one reason. Another reason is they never discern dependent origination. So this argument, mentality, mentality are five aggregates and other words. Huh? Same. Five aggregates and uh, mentality means four mental aggregates. So this argument, mentality, mentality, and their causes, especially dependent origination, these two noble truths are the object of vipassana. Many meditators, they think, oh, some of us, disciples of Buddha, cannot see this argument mentality, mentality. This is their perception. Because of this perception, they do not try, they never try to understand this argument mentality, eh? mentality. But they say they are trying with Vipassana. They will say only. <coughs> they, they believe first is finished, left behind. So it is not necessary to deserve first to contemplate bus. Tutor is not yet reached. Hmm? Not has yet, not have yet reached. So because of this reason, it is not necessary to contemplate future. Only present. If they present, practice present only. Number one, they do not understand alive mentality, mentality and be present. Number two, they do not practice to understand dependent origination. So they do not know the noble truth of suffering, then the noble truth of the origin of suffering. These two are the object of insight knowledge. Without understanding these two types of noble truth, if they contemplate, uh, if they try vipassana, their vipassana is only just superficial. So, <coughs> at the end, when they practice anyway, hmm? usually some attack maybe, hmm? When they practice at that time, usually they fall into Bhunga. But at that time, if they practice again, again, at the beginning stage only maybe they may shook a little bit. But later, if they try again, again, then they can maintain this Bhunga mindset for a long time. <coughs> one example I will show in one, in Bama, one Mahathira. He thinks one day we will die. If we die, we will not greet. Hmm? So there will be no. So lion dog, lion flat. Hmm? He try not to greet. <laughs> <laughs> he do not understand argument mentality, materiality. He do not understand dependent origination. Just lion dog, he, he try not to greet. They hope he forgot. He can say this going up my state about 48 hours. 
two days completely. <laughs> he can stay at that state because he practices again, again. But he may say at that time he knows nothing of it because he do not understand animal mentality, materiality. He do not understand the object and subject. So because of this reason, his perception is this is real nirvana. But later, slowly, when he became older and older, he understood this is nothing. <laughs> so he, he admit this is wrong view, he admit later. In the same way, there are many meditators, when they are practicing any commentana or any meditation subject, so that when their concentration is a little bit improved, this, they may usually fall into point up. If they can maintain this point up and this practice again, again they can maintain this point up mostly for a long time. They think this is Nibbana. So if they realize Nibbana, it is not necessary to do this, ultimate mentality, mentality, this is very difficult. They <laughs> reject. <laughs> it is not necessary to win origination, this is not necessary because they realize Nibbana. So in this way they make that. So this is another way of misunderstanding of point up. Today, I only stop here. Okay. Any question you can ask. Yes. Is it impossible for people to spontaneously end up in a state of nirvana who have uh, no training? Are there yeah. cases of that? Yes, one so that. Huh? Sayuda Nikaya, you can see this so that I will recite this so that Sabha Vipwe Navi Jana Avri Jana Avira Jaya Avajaha Abhava Dukha Kriyaya. It is impossible to realize Nibbana, which is the end of Safari. Without understanding, ultimate mentality, materiality, by three types of insight knowledge. Three types of insight knowledge is Maybe uh, the vipassana insight or vipassana insight knowledge only. So, if you do not understand ultimate mentality, mentality, and their causes as nature to another, you cannot realize nibbana, which is the end of suffering. This is called every janana sutta in sanita nikana. No question? <laughs> <laughs> I um, have a, it's probably a simple-minded question. Is the knowledge that one is still breathing, mm. currently still breathing, is that a test that would suggest that you have not fallen into um, a Vavanga state? Yes, yes. So if you, okay. Yes, because when you are sleeping soundly, hmm. without dreaming, at that time when you are asleep, successfully rising and passing away, hmm. other than you are breathing. The meaning is, when you are asleep, you can produce breathing. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So you, you contemplate the, in, the insight knowledge as you Anicca, Dukkha, Anatta, and then you see that. And then you contemplate that that knowledge as also... Yes, maybe. I will do tenth, tenth, you can try. Huh. I will do tenth. For example, this is five aggregate. Yeah. Hmm? These five aggregates you must contemplate as Anicca, Dukkha, Anatta. That number one is like knowledge. That is a knowledge also you must again contemplate as any child of God. Then that second second knowledge, that inside knowledge also again you must contemplate any child of God. That concern inside knowledge also you must contemplate any child of God. That, that, that. So up to ten stage. So it must become very quick. Very quick. Quick, quick imagine and contemplate them. So up to ten you can do. But more than that is not necessary too much. Mm. Because there are many formations you must contemplate as any child to God. Yes.
Aruba Sandaga Mentality Subtet Session and we saw you make the bag of your previously you can see this way of practice. No question? Which can be done? Western people maybe it 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 means something normal, but in the context of of the Pashana, would you explain what how to understand the meaning of a uh, inside knowledge? Maybe they are translation only. In Pali, this is called vipassana jnana. Vipassana jnana jnana. Yana means Vishram Pekalati. Vishram Pekalati alone cannot rise. Because this is nature in Vidama. Vishram Pekalati arise with associated mental formations only. When they arise with associated mental formations, they arise according to cognitive process only. Cognitive process means here mind or cognitive process. Number one, mind or advising consciousness. Then seven embalsions usually jhavanas. In each jhavana, my moment, there are 34 medal of fetas. Among 34, which time faculty is predominant feta in Vipassana. But if you already had been tested on the mentality internally and externally, other than if you contemplate your inside knowledge, then you can easily understand. But at the beginning stage, of Nama Rupa Prachita, huh? analyze it, mentality and yeah? materiality. At inside knowledge state, also we teach this usually for higher vipassana. For example, yeah, untransparent element. You must pay attention, this is untransparent element. At inside knowledge, also you must try to discern. Then, yeah, this untransparent is Chakubhusara. That knowledge which knows this is Chakubhusara, that inside knowledge also you must discern. Okay? The untransformed element, as soon as it arises, it passes away. So it is a nature. That nature inside knowledge also you must discern. Okay? In this way, you dig, then you must call them, pay attention. This is always operates by rising in passing way. This is Dhoka. That Dhoka inside knowledge also you must discern. Then there is no permanent substance in that untransformed element. So this is another. That another inside knowledge also you must discern. There is there are many impurities surrounding. <laughs> I transfer element always associated with bad smell, eh? bad, uh, bad smell and bad color, etc. No sweet smell. <laughs> <laughs> so th because of this, this is asuba, hmm? impure. That inside knowledge also you must again discern. In this way, at the beginning only, when you are discerning a limit mentality, we teach this sister. Because when they reach Vipassana, they must also contemplate this inside knowledge again okay, as a nature to another. So what's the object? So what's the superior point of the, uh, the, the process of Maybe if you understand, if you had to be already understand, there are six two cognitive process. I do cognitive process, yeah, do know to dang do body do and my do. My do cognitive process can contemplate this as nature to another. That my do cognitive process arises depending on your heart base. Taking this I transparency as nature nature or dukkha nature or another nature or asubat nature. That nature, this mind or community process, take this and transfer elements, nature, nature, and look at nature. That mind or community process, again, okay, you must decide here. Yeah. But if you can decide a demon mentality, barely you will understand. But if you do not yet decide, 
I didn't mean mentality other than maybe just imagination. Maybe. What is meant by conformity? Knowledge that that stage in vipassana. Maybe this is last stage. Oh. Last stage is means after sankarubaka. Huh? Mm -hmm. Sankarubaka knowledge. Huh? The knowledge of equanimity, dual formations, become medjiva and medjiva, and then the nearly but knowledge will arise, and then the, this conformity knowledge appears. Because this is confirmed previous inside knowledge as well as coming but knowledge. This is China and the Middle East. So this is confirmed this also, this also. What called? So they were huh? not to clash That's each fine. other, not to clash yes. each other. If the inside knowledge contemplate as nature, then this also contemplate as nature. And then part knowledge also will be at the end of nature, knowledge. If this is contemplate Dukkha, then this will be also Dukkha, and part knowledge also will understand Dukkha nature in this way. Well, this, uh, in our practice, um, most of us are trying either to get the nimitta or, or, or trying to work out a jhana, reach a jhana. So uh, we cannot we cannot do any of those um, processes that you are describing yes. uh, right now because we have to keep What's except it? for maybe the bhavanga. Mm. But my right? God also maybe previously I had been explained now you are understanding only when God my domains this is metaphorically only. Yes. So when God my states produce my produce medirati small kalapas, uncountable kalapas. The light of this uncountable kalapas now you can see. In the, in the same way Uriya kalapas. But after this sunny argument materiality, if you go to this argument materiality, you can easily understand. When the understanding adimate materiality, if you practice to this <coughs> adimate materiality, it will be very difficult, except Janadimas. Janadimas are easy for why? Because when they are practicing Samatha Chana, <coughs> other than they can easily discern five Chana feathers. So this is the beginning stage. If you can discern five Chana feathers, the five Chana feathers cannot rise only five. They arise with associated mandala formations. They are 34 mandala formations. If you write this again and again, then you can understand this 34. <coughs> After that, you should go back. This 34 arises depending on what? Or uh, it arises depending on heart <coughs> rate. You will understand. What heart rate is what? Then if you gain this and poor elements in your heart, then you will see small body gas. If you analyze this small body gas, you can see this. So uh, you can see the 34 uh, factors uh, one by one, eventually? Maybe for beginners, usually we teach one by one, because they are inside is not yet mature. Huh? So one by one, if they can this one by one, then usually we teach two, 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 then three, 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 then four, 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 four then five, five, five. Five, maybe one city we teach. Then after the next city, up to eight we teach. Then after the next city, slowly increase up to thirty. Then next city we teach all, all together thirty-four. Slowly we must increase. Now you are discerning China feathers. At the beginning, you must discern only Wujaga. If you can discern Wujaga thoroughly, the next time. You can discern which other. So slowly, one by one. If you can discern one by one, then please try and fight together. Then you can see clearly fight together. In the same way. Only. Thank you, sir. Uh, I don't know whether I remember right. Uh, in Anastasia Sutta, 
when the Buddha preached it, it says in the book, the monks were not delighted. No, 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 so because of this reason, oh, not difficult, his tamas. Very easy, we can learn easily. In this way, they do not be respect to the mm. Buddha. Mm. But one day, Buddha trying to see their inner quality. Buddha saw, oh, they can become rahas. But without removing this conceit, mana, they cannot add a rahas yet. But if they can remove this conceit, mana, then they get a day hardship. So Buddha, because of this reason, Buddha and uh, Buddha preach Mula Priyaya Sutta. After listening Mula Priyaya Sutta, they do not understand the Dhamma. <laughs> <laughs> so they are, at the day, they are conceit, a little bit decrease. At the day, Buddha taught another Jataka story. Jataka story, in one of previous like this, our body said that we get the teacher, Tisa Bamoka teacher. Hmm? They are 500 disciples. In the same way, they have a lot of sin. <coughs> and then also, our body said that ask them one question, they cannot answer. <laughs> and then only they are conceived and decrease. In the same way, in that so that Buddha taught, why the Buddha preaching this Mula Briya so that they are conceived for them. They can remove their conceit. They they diligently practice vipassana. When they vipassana, when they are vipassana inside become Mejua, one day they are always silent. Sado, in regards to this founder, in some tradition, he's taught that this absorption on this Bhavanga mind state should be cultivated by the Bodhisattva at the point at which he attains Sankara Upekinyana and doesn't wish to enter into Nibbana. So that upon death, they call this Rigpa, yeah? he can recognize this state at death and therefore bring to mind whatever his intention is for his rebirth. What is that does are not like that. What is that does always contemplate a demon mentality, mentality, as an agent of another Abdus and Karupa Katyana stage. But now this Venga mentality, they do not contemplate a demon mentality, mentality, really. Yeah, but once they have attained Sankarupa Katyana, they don't Maybe wish to go. I want to explain this. <coughs> if they don't want to go to beyond Sankarupa Katyana stage, mm -hmm. what have been? I had been experienced many many days. They had have been is they are wish for some in that jnana. That wishing for some in that jnana abhya and that again. Because of this reason they have no desire to go. They want to become Buddha only. To be Buddha that desire what desire? Especially if they gain Definite prophecy near that Bhyadita in previous one of Buddha's time. That image appears again and again when they are inside Bhikkhan Mijuva. So they do not stay in Vengar Mesri. This is only Buddha taught in Adida Briya so that this is Vonchya. Vonchya means who cannot take any paragane. What called in English? Anyone. Any woman who cannot take any paragame. Sterile, infertile, cannot have child? No child, no child. Infertile, cannot reproduce. This is called that like Wanchia. Wanchia cannot produce any children. In the same way, this mind also cannot produce any result. This is useless mind. But Buddha says, instead of thinking different, wholesome, 
and then gains a wholesome thought, discuss, discussive thoughts. If you stay in Bohenga, it is better. In this way, also Buddha thought. <laughs> if you then think to kill mother, father, etc. Instead of such thinking, if you stay in Bohenga, it will be better. In this way, Buddha also thought. But it is one chair, cannot produce any good or bad result. So this is only useless mind only. Useless mind means they don't produce any good rasa, higher good rasa. But is our goal to stop producing results? Hmm? Our goal is to stop producing results without no mind. Produce. If it is going up, they don't produce. But that's good. Because no, we don't no want go. To Maybe stuff. Bodhisattvas always must accumulate Burmese. These Burmese are for Savinyu Dhyana only, to make Mejiwa Savinyu Dhyana. They must do this paramis in every moment, every like, every existence. So, <coughs> without accumulating paramis, they are staying in Bhuenga. It will be useless for them. Maybe sometimes. <laughs> <coughs> in um, last night's uh, Dhamma talk, talking about the difference between um, Mahayana and Theravada, with conditioned and nibbana. This is Theravada view. The Mahayana, which is that, um, that the unconditioned is responsible for the conditioned. In other words, uh, nibbana is samsara, samsara is nibbana. I, I had heard this said before, not last night. Is, could you perhaps talk a little bit about? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do not understand about Mahayana. <laughs> so I cannot say easily, but I heard Piwale. <laughs> but what is Piwale? Maybe some Mahayana Mahatiras, they also practice Samantha. Mm. Or maybe partially Vipassana, or I don't know exactly. But they are Samantha also. Powerful, they can see some mentions and things. So, especially in our Tiravara Buddhism, there's one interesting point is pure ebo. Pure ebo means the Sutta Vasa. Sutta Vasa means Sutta is pure persons. Pure means only Nagami and Arahat. They can stay in that five place. Occasionally, for a long day, there are no Buddhas. Maybe their lifespan is only eighty, eighty thousand. I think so. Eighty thousand aeons only. Yeah. So because of this reason, many aeons Buddha never appear. There are no Brahmas. They have this plane bigger, empty that pure about bigger empty. So they may see this pure about and then so when they are some other inside become very powerful. That pure about and they may misunderstand and the pure <laughs> Because this is very pure. <laughs> I think so only but I do not understand Mahayana idea completely. <laughs> But Nibbana, Nibbana is, is very different. Very different means, he, they may see here, maybe, for example, uh, missions, small, um, very big gates. Then the Brahmas are very big. Brahmas, very, their body is very big. Their missions are very big, not like this meditation hall. <laughs> 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 because, <coughs> for example, Kedigara, huh? Kedigara, Kedigara is one of the disciples of Kasva Buddha. Mm. He is friend of our Bodhisattva in Kasva, Kasva Buddha's time. So he always looked down his friend, Sujodhi Bala, one day will be a Buddha. When, he, when will he renounce? He always waiting about see. One day our Bodhisattva renounced last night. Mm. Then when he reached a normal beach, mm. he offered ropes. Do you remember <laughs> that, that story? Yeah. Uh, ropes, yeah? Mm. 
rope and uh, balls. No? So that can be gara. When our body is there, raise up his what called outer clothes. What called? Hmm? Mm. Yeah, lower lower clothes. Hmm? And this again, if I really will be Buddha, this cloth not fall down to the ground. Then he raised up. You should also try. Cloth <laughs> 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 never go down. Then that Kadigara take this cloth up to his Brahmava. He do one type of Jediya. Twelve Yojana. One Yojana may be eight mile or ten mile or twelve mile. Twelve Yojana may be more than hundred mile. Height is more than hundred mile. The diameter, what about? Maybe a uh, hundred more than hundred mile. Yeah. So how big you will understand? This is made of seven types of jewels only, no bricks, <laughs> <laughs> no stones. So how big maybe? This is his donation. He can donate such a pagoda and the Brahmawa. So their machines may be bigger than like. So they may see and then so, but I'm not sure. Sharing merit, okay. That's what means. Repeat them. Ajima, Tisabe, Tisabe, Vesama, Vesama, Punya Baga, Punya Baga, Labandu, Labandu, Sadu, Sadu, Sadu.